around the 48 second video in Jupiter. Now I know when you first start out, you don't get things focused real good, or there's a lot of like a lot of distortion in the air, atmospheric distortion. Um, anyway, this, I'm going to take you through this and just show you how I do it. Hopefully, it'll it'll help you uh, do that. Learn how to do this pretty easy. Okay, first thing you you want to definitely get the Registack program, Registack Six. Uh, first thing you want to do is load your file in there. I I got one here. I just threw on my desktop for this video. Open it up. Uh, I pretty much leave all all this on the factory settings and then down here on the limit setup I usually try to use 200 of the best frames now this video has 1210 frames so once you get it loaded in here you want to try to find the if you just hold that down you can see it, it distorting and you want to try to find like the clearest frame you can where, where the stars of the moon uh, are nice and smooth and round. Now I used a really crappy telescope when I made this and a crappy camera. That's why it's got a lot of these, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of like cross grains in there. A lot of hot pixels and stuff. Now, as soon as you find one that's pretty good, that one's, that one's not bad. I think I'll try that one right there. Then you, you just want to go up to set of line points. It's going to bring this up. Now you want to click. I got two moons in this, so I'm going to try to do that. And the more the more align points you put on here, the, the longer it'll take to align it. And after you get that, you just click align. Uh, later on in, in some other videos, I'll show you more about pre filters and uh, how to make the picture bigger and stuff like this. Now on the align, I keep it at three by three area. Uh, and that's about it. We just gotta let that run through for a second. And that'll, that'll align all the pictures that you took in your ABI file or whatever kind of video file that you're using. We're at 82%. So there, so now here's the limit. This is where this comes into play now I'm, I'm using 200 of the 1210 frames now you can put it on percentage or but this is just the easiest thing I, I usually just stack 200 pictures that don't take too long so just hit limit and then this will be the stacking I always keep it on normalization frame intensity and correct correct geometry and I, I really don't mess with none of that stuff, so I just click stack. Let that stack. I usually stack it twice, but for this video, I'm just going to stack it once. As soon as that gets done stacking, we will go to the. So that's all stacked. You can see it's a little bit blurry. We're going to go to the wavelet tab now. Now this is where you can do a little processing on it. Over here are your wavelets. Now the more you drag these, you can see how sharp that picture gets. Now this is is not a good video as far as quality. It wasn't focused good. But uh, when you first start out, you're going to have, until you figure it out, you're going to have pretty crappy videos. That's why I'm working with this one. This is one of my first ones I've, I ever took. Now these, the lower on these little pull tabs here, these are the bigger, the bigger parts of the the uh, pixels. These are the real fine, and you know just kind of go through the middle ones. But I, I have a setting that I always use. Once you get a good setting, you can keep it. Then every time you work with Jupiter, now this is over overdone in fact I should have showed you how I do that basically you unclick all these and you just work with the top one and you want to click this up 
to 150. I think it starts out at 100. This one starts out at zero. You you click it five times, both of them five times, and you you can uh, adjust it all right there. And it as a little trick instead of trying to mess with all them because you'd spend hours messing with them. This is just the fastest and easiest. If it was a good video, I could do what I did and just leave it and be done with it. Well, once you do that, you click do all. So now you got some pretty good detail in there. You got the shadow of the moon. Um, I always go to histogram. And you want to clip the background. I always put it where it starts to drop off here on the blue. And then I click stretch. See, I kind of clean that up. And I always drag this one just a little bit. You know, kind of overexpose it a little bit. But it's basically all I do with that. Then I go to gamma. And this is the middle this is the the uh, mid details like see it'll turn the the middle colors up and this is the the background colors the darks and this is your highlights so you got highlights mid tones and then like your your darks so I'll just mess just leave it there click do all See, so we're, we're taking a pretty crappy video. Now we're starting to get some detail. We got a good shadow off that moon. Nice little moon there. Next thing we're going to do is a RGB align. So you just click that. Click estimate. This takes just a little bit. And later on I'll get into more detailed stuff. This is just for if you're just starting out using basic settings. Uh, working, you can use this program for any, pretty much any video, any type of video. And that's going to take a little bit. I think I'm going to pause it till it's done because it'll run through the the red channel, and then it runs through the blue. So I'm going to pause this for a minute, and then once it's done, I'll. I guess it's already done. That's okay. So it's done with that. Now we go to RGB balance. And just hit auto balance, and that should line all that. It looks kind of green. Let me hit it again. It's a little red. Normally, that's pretty good there for Jupiter. Let's, so I hit do all. Now you can see just how fuzzy that's what you started out with there, and now this is what you're getting. There's a lot you can do the contrast. I usually do all this stuff for the paint shop program, <clears throat> but just for starting out, here's a this is just a quick video to show you how to process that. You just click save file, and I uh, I messed with one earlier. Let's see if I can bring it up here. So here's one that I did a little same same video clip, um, but. That's not bad for for a crap, crappy camera and a little 48 second video. Um, back when I saved it, I forgot to tell you that there's different formats you can save it in. That was just a saved in a 8 bit uh, JPEG. Um, I usually save them in 32 bit TIFFs or uh, BMPs or PNGs, just depending on what kind of paint shop pro program you got man i cannot talk to that anyway car racer out this is your quick little tutorial